bro. Playing this last game before we leave. I hope you die. 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 That's so annoying. <laughs> die. Dude, watch out, man. <laughs> oh, get hit by that car. Oh! Am I the reason you died? You're always the reason why I die. We are on our way to, sin, uh, what's it called? Star bread? Star bread. To get senorita bread for Mickey. Who's Mickey? Mickey is my niece. And she just found out today. Yesterday. Uh, yesterday? Yeah. Uh, the gender of her new baby. It's a girl. She already has three boys. She does. And this, she already had said this is her last baby. And she said, I feel like it's a boy. I just already know. And I was like, oh, I hope it's a girl. We were all hoping it would be a girl. Yeah. Because she just wanted her last one to be a girl. And it is. She had the doctor check multiple times, too. She was like, uh, don't even joke with me right now. <laughs> so she, I always ask her before we come over every Friday if, uh, there's something I can get her, a treat, and she's always telling us star bread because they don't have it over there in their area. So, what do we do? We bring star bread. Gosh, we need to clean this windshield. <laughs> We're here. This box is greasy, man. It's greasy. We got something to put underneath here? I thought you said greasy. Yeah, you're good. Oh! Check the uh, trunk. I'll hold it. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, hand sanny? <laughs> Smells good. I think I need one. Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> I guess I can wait, huh? Yeah, you can wait. We got oh. food. <laughs> got that on video. Crocs and socks of the day, man. What are you crocking? Oh, <laughs> We both crack it. <laughs> nice. Look at that side view. Oh. Oh, my socks, they match my shirt too. She was like, <laughs> Meet him. We all have Crocs on right now. What is this? Oh my gosh. I love it. If if you had the the squirt or something like that, he'd pick that one for sure. I, well, I don't know. You know, a lot of the old talking people, they always say, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Hell yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, how am I gonna do this? Let's get our little ooh, reaction on here. Currently, oh, yeah, at Kaito with our plates. And I'm about to try the Mahi Mahi Katsu. Oh my goodness. I've never had like fish katsu. This is bomb. I don't know if anyone else out here has a fish katsu. I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Just gonna add that to your bio. Home of the fish katsu. <laughs> and I, I... This is a sauce for me. <laughs> This guy's over here just like this. Look, you can all you can see is your hand going like this the whole time. <laughs> Hella fast. That's all they were missing. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Hey man. Look at not say anything it just says um to pass what? because there's um get oh my gosh just set up my ring light and boy did that step up the game oh oh i am feeling that oh i love it that is so oh Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here this fool goes, eating my plate. I told him this would happen too. I said, see, you eat your whole plate in, in there, and then we go home hours later and you ask to eat my plate. Hey guys, so um, with all of the crocking we were doing today, uh, just so many opportunities to mention crocs that I figured what's one more um so i have my handy dandy list here because um i really wanted to be able to show you which i got in order and um i watched some other videos about crocs on youtube and a lot of people do try-ons and like get them all out i really didn't want to do that but for the sake of this video and the fact that I don't want to be lazy about it, I'm literally, I put pictures, I was going to put pictures up here. I did the entire video and then I was like, why? Why are you going to do it halfway? Let's go all the way. Let's show how they look. So I'm going to go ahead and record this video and then do a try on as well because, you know, it's Crocs and I take my Crocs very seriously. So... My first pair ever, ever. I got these from Dick's Sporting Goods. I was walking in the store one day. I'd been looking at Crocs for a while and I was like, ooh, I love that color. It's pistachio and uh, it's like a mint-ish color. And one of my all-time faves, it's pretty dirty right now. Um, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm not gonna clean it for this video because uh, that would be me altering my daily life and uh, I think I'm probably going to end up cleaning all of my Crocs next week but it hasn't happened yet. So you are getting full dirty first and second pairs of Crocs and you can tell they were my first and second pair. Anyways, my second pair is one of my all time favorites, uh, Lime Punch. Oh, dude, I remember the first day I wore these, I was so excited. We were heading to the Goodwill outlet. And, um, 
I remember just taking a picture of them with Kiki because I was so excited. It was like, I want to say the day after one of my birthdays and uh, we had just splurged on six pairs. So this was the first pair I ever wore out and I basically wore it every day for the longest. So um, my second pair is this uh, Croc Band Melon and Blue Ice. This is the only pair of Croc Bands I have besides uh, Flip Flop, but um, I didn't size up in these like a lot of people I see suggest that. I personally didn't have a problem with the sizing. Um, I'm at size nine in women for all of my Crocs, but generally I vary from anywhere from a nine to an 11 in regular shoes. So, um, um, my fourth pair is the Lemon Slide. These are one of my favorites. Uh, the first pair of Crocs I ever put a gibbet on. Um, and it was the little honey bee and I love bees. I think really cute. Um, so yeah, uh, my one, two, three, four. Oh yes. So that was my next one. And then I have the, uh, tropical floral pink lemonade clog. That's a mouthful. I think it even had more verbiage in there, but, um, these are really cute. Uh, they're kind of hard to find things to pair with, but I mean, I just go out and whatever at this point. Uh, my fifth pair is the pair of black slides that I got. And I, I wanna say this is actually really sad because I also had gotten a pair of black uh, clogs. And when Kiki was a puppy, she destroyed my pair of Crocs. So RIP to the only pair I've ever lost. Um, I miss you. I haven't replaced you. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thanks Kiki for nothing. Um, the next pair I have is the uh, Katie printed flat and they are floral. I really like these and I bought them specifically for church. I feel like they're not too clunky, but they're also really, really comfortable. So that was my main reason behind that. Um, my next pair is the Serena printed cross band slide in floral slash poppy. Uh, I saw these and I was like, ooh. And this is after the fact of like, the white pair with the same floral in a clog sold out online and I couldn't find it anywhere and it was really depressing for me. Um, if I find that pair, I will get them. I think they're beautiful, but um, until that day, uh, these, ugh, I don't wear them often because I feel like I need to have my toes painted when I do, but they're gorgeous. <laughs> they really work for me and, uh, I I remember I wore them out. The first time I wore them was to Goodwill. <laughs> so basically I wear all of my favorite Crocs to Goodwill. Um, that's just me, okay. Um, my next pair after that is the Pastel Tie-Dye Croc Band Flip Flops. I only got them because I needed to make my order $50 and I only needed like $5 and they were on sale for $12. Um, the next pair I got was the Ice Blue Slide. And just, I have three pairs of slides at that point. And uh, both of my other pairs, I wore a size nine. I decided when I was trying them on that I could really benefit from sizing up one. Uh, during Rich's dad's funeral, I wore my black slides a lot and they were kind of uncomfortable because I needed to wear socks and it was just a little too tight. So I ended up sizing up for the ice blue and literally just sitting there, sitting there and I looked down and I was like, oh my gosh, I need those. I ordered them the very next day. I was like, I deserve these. Anyways, <laughs> shortly after that, I got the Lime Punch clog. And if you guys can't tell, I'm really into green. Um, and these are one of my favorites because it matches Baby Yoda. And I think he's so cute. I love Grogu. I love the Mandalorian. Um, 
Yeah. The cantaloupe clog. Oh, I saw that while waiting to go in the store for something else. And I was like, yeah, that's my next color. It was in the display. I remember I posted a picture on Snapchat. Not Snapchat. It was Instagram. Posted a picture on Instagram. I said, my next croc. And then it happened. I spoke it into existence. Um, the 14th pair I got. Pastel tie-dye clog. These are gorgeous. Like, I saw everybody getting all of these tie-dye, 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 like the darker colors, and I think those are beautiful. And But I just, they weren't really me, you know? So when I saw them, I was like, ooh, yeah, I gotta get those. I'm really into pastel colors for some reason. These, like, as of late, I just really like pastels. So that was my next pair. Out of this world, cloud crocs. You know, I talked about them in a previous video and they're one of my favorites just because they're inspirational to me and just have everything I love on them, gibbets included. And yeah, so they're my work crocs and I wear them pretty often and I love them. So uh, the light up Christmas clogs. I size up in the uh, lined clogs just for purpose of like if I wanted to wear... Uh, socks I could not really but you want to think about how your feet like if you're normally like your feet are sweaty you don't want them to sweat just because they're harder to clean um you can wash them in the washer but really you should just wash it in your sink and let them air dry um I went back to back clogs and the reason being is because Christmas ended and I couldn't wear them anymore <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I love them, but they're seasonal, you know, so I have to get a pair that aren't seasonal. Um, one of my newest and most favorite pairs is the black marble, and it's really because it reminds me of the Raiders, and just, they just look it's classic. I just don't know how to say it. White and black is just looks good anytime, any, any time of day. There's just... They're just different. They hit different. Um, one of my, the next few are my newest pairs that I got. Um, the Marble Pastel Clog. Um, don't sleep on these guys. Like, I know they look like a little bit too much. I literally have them right here. They look like a little too much, but. I love these. These. Dude, it's like, it's lightweight tie-dye, but then it's lightweight not, you know? I don't know. You see me wear, always wearing tie-dye shirts, so maybe I'm just, I'm just extra, extra. Uh, the pepper clog. Oh, I wanted these so bad right around the time I wanted the cantaloupe clog, but they were all sold out my size. So I finally ended up getting them. I the Fresco Marble Clog that I'm literally wearing right now. And I think these are super cute. I love the Fresco color. I tried to get these in just the full solid Fresco, but they were sold out in that. And I think I'm really enjoying the marble. So I'm gonna try to collect all of those. Um, so that leads me to my next two pairs that I'm in search of right now. And that's the iridescent clog, the black iridescent. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like, that's a clog I wanted, but you know, it just ended up selling out everywhere, like Amazon, eBay, all these other places. So I kind of missed out on that one, but I will find it eventually. And then the pistachio marble and the blue marble, those are probably gonna be something that I go after um, in the near future, whenever they have a restock or whenever I have money for a restock. So I figure I would just tell you guys that, you know, whatever you're into and, you know, like, like whether it's solids or vibrant or whatever, do you, okay? And I think Crocs are a great way to express yourself and